professeur Benedict Oke Orama était au Cameroun en visite de travail. Benedict Orama. Benedict Orama. Dr. Benedict Orama. Dr. Benedict Oke Orama. Le docteur Benedict Oke Orama. The investiture of Dr. Benedict Orama as president of the Afrexim Bank. Professor Benedict Orama, president of the African Export and Import Bank. By 44 strokes of the pen, African nations said no more. The outcome was the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. Our heads are pointed towards the sun and our feet are moving forward. 25 years ago, I am sure there would have been doubt as to whether Africans can truly come together to build something meaningful. University of Ibadan, or your state, Nigeria. It was here at this famous historic university that Professor Orama defined his destiny when he graduated in 1983 with a BSc honors degree in agricultural economics. He would later bag his master's and doctorate degrees from the prestigious Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife. With an unbroken focus and a survival instinct that was electric, his determination to succeed was ironclad. Professor Rama is as bold as a lion. He's also extremely wise. Professor Rama stands out. He's a distinguished personality, a strong believer in Africa. Dr. Rama is very hardworking. He's a person of high repute and integrity and very humble. Plunging headlong into the turbulent, often unpredictable, and highly competitive Nigerian labor market, Professor Rama braved all odds, consummately defined the laws of gravity every step of the way. When he commenced work at the Nigerian Export Import Bank, Nexim, in 1992, as assistant manager, Professor Rama was already a trade and finance force of nature. His boundless pan-African vision and mastery of strategic defiance will later propel him into a revolutionary new beginning at Africsim Bank in 1994 as one of the pioneer staff members when the pan-African multilateral financial institution began operations. Conceived in the mid-1980s by African ministers of finance, amidst the global economic downturn and major economic recession in Africa, Africsim Bank was finally established on May 8, 1993. The purpose of Africsim Bank is to facilitate, promote and finance intra-African and extra-African trade. If every part of the world that is developed shows data that they trade more amongst themselves, why don't we make Africa trade more amongst itself to see if we join the, the rank of the developer? One must commend Afrexim Bank for putting together this initiative for the very first time ever for bringing Africans together to see and discuss how we can foster intra-Africa trade, which is today at 15%, compared to Europe, which is at 67%. The trade finance gap on the continent is about 120 billion US dollars. The infrastructure gap, about 90 billion dollars. The gap is huge. Africa's trade is about a trillion dollars. What it tells you is that the infrastructure available is able to carry one trillion dollars of that trade. The question is, why is it that intra-African trade share of that $1 trillion is just $170 billion. Why is it not $400 billion? Where we are today compared to how things were 10 years ago, you can see that our governments are gradually becoming very, very enthusiastic uh, to see success in the private sector. Africsim Bank made its first loan commitment on 30th September 1994 and had a total balance sheet of around 600 million US dollars by 2005. Assuming the mantle of leadership when Africsim Bank's outstanding assets and guarantees was just over 4 billion US dollars and shareholders' funds capital was about 900 million US dollars. In September 2015, Professor Rama faced his first major test, a deep commodity crisis, cuts in credit lines by international banks to African counterparties, which deepened the already bottomless trade 
and Development Finance Gap, Herculean, with the task ahead. Nonetheless, Professor Orama believed that it's not just the size of the dog in the fight that counts, but the fight in the dog that wins. He adroitly maneuvered the first real test by engineering the launch of the counter-cyclical trade liquidity facility, which enabled Africson Bank to disburse over 10 billion US dollars in support of countries most affected by the shock, including Nigeria. Africson Bank, under Professor Orama, has grown in leaps and bounds, with its balance sheet size, including guarantees reaching about 30 billion US dollars and its capital base about 5 billion US dollars in only seven years. Under his leadership, the bank has grown in leaps and bounds. The bank has become so much more relevant. He's a visionary leader. He has his dreams to transform Africa, transform Africa's trade. He's been doing that by promoting intra-African trade under the AFTA regime. A giant prints of supporting and growing businesses and trade platforms across Africa are indelible. Like I say to my colleagues all the time, any transaction Dr. Orama is not able to structure is not bankable. Professor Orama is a passionate champion of Africa's integration and economic emancipation. With him at the helm, Africson Bank has assumed center stage in the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement AFCFTA. He has championed the creation of an innovative digital ecosystem that is boasting intra-regional trade and investment, revolutionizing cross-border payments and improving access to quality trade information. These include the Pan-African Payment and Settlement System, a trade information portal, a trade regulations portal, and Mansa platform. The PAPS has been described as a revolutionary financial market infrastructure that will enable instant cross-border payments in local currencies between African markets under the new intra-Africa trade arrangement. Over the last two to three years, Afrexim Bank working with AFCFTA under the endorsement of the African Union Heads of State has put in place a core infrastructure that is able to facilitate payments across the across borders in local currencies. What it means is, is that somebody in Nigeria wanting to buy something from South Africa does not have to go look for dollars or euro or whatever to pay the South Africa. The Nigerian will pay it for those goods in Naira and the South African exporter will get the rent. We think this would be a game changer. Ecobanks, one of the banks or partners for this particular program. What is the rationale behind the setting up of the PAPSS system in the, in the first instance? Allowing Africans take their destiny in their hands, create employment, generate wealth. The bank is transforming the continent's health and medical system through its African Medical Center of Excellence initiative. The bank is currently developing a 300 million US dollars ultra modern African medical center of excellence in Abuja, which will help transform the country's and region's health and medical service industry, improve healthcare delivery, as well as make Nigeria a regional hub for medical tourism. Africsim Bank is also developing an Africsim Bank Africa Trade Center, AATC Abuja, which will, amongst others, house the bank's regional office, a modern conference and exhibition facility, a tech incubation center, a hotel, and offices for international and pan-African organizations. Further, the bank has completed the development of an Africa Quality Assurance Center in Ogun State, a facility that will significantly boost the testing and certification of Nigerian goods for exports and for domestic consumption. Nigeria is the first beneficiary of these flagship projects. In recognition of his achievements and exceptional leadership, Professor Rama has received several honors and awards this year alone, he has been decorated with several awards and honors, including African Banker of the Year, African Champion of the Year, African Energy Person of the Year, and African Bar Association's Merit Leadership Awards. Margaret Haight's Demont African Art Award by the Detroit Institute of Arts and in 2018, he was deservingly decorated Professor of International Trade and Finance by Adelike University, Nigeria. 
My prayer for Professor Rama is that the light of God will continue to shine upon him and his lovely family. As we celebrate this great icon today, we wish him all the best in his future endeavors and we congratulate him. It's a well-deserved award. The board and management of Fidelity Bank are grateful for all the collaboration and support of Rafredzim under your watch. In the words of Bertolt Brecht, hungry man, rich for the book, it's a weapon. Professor Orama is one hungry man, one who didn't just reach for the book, but also for the boots and tools. <laughs> yes, he did. He has run through a troop, galvanized an army, and is leading a good fight for Africa's renaissance. With an unbroken sword, he deserves all rounds of applause and a million accolades. He's truly a force of nature, a trade and finance colossus of unrivaled pedigree, a proud son of the African soil, a true Nigerian by every standard, and a commander of inestimable virtues, a thoroughly good man. Congratulations, Professor Benedict Okechuku Orama, C-O-N. <laughs>